What is up, all my internet friends? We got another pair of low heat, a, uh, a retro pair that has now uh, redropped a couple years later after they were once retroed. And uh, here we are, back with another shot at them now that the hype has. Uh, subsided over sneakers and dunks in general we're actually able to get a pair of these nike dunk low sps in varsity maze pine green and white aka the brazil dunks one of the you know uh an early early colorway from i don't know if it was care of japan colorway or not but for early 2000s is 2000 2001 um then they were retroed i think in 2020. I don't know if that was for the first time, but 2020, during all of the sneaker hype, and these were like, you know, bots ate these up, gobbled these up, backdoor. These were like $100 shoe, $105 shoe, reselling for like $300, $350. Ridiculous. And now, fast forward uh, to 2024, and you can get these for retail. Or I was able to get these for retail. Uh, I don't know if they're still available anywhere, but prices have subsided on them substantially so if you're a big dunk head now is the time to strike hopefully you don't have to pay too hopefully they don't tax you too much because these did re-release uh so let's take a look uh before i unveil them please uh appreciate a sub a sub a like comment all the above it's free easy to do boom you already did it you know i don't i don't have a million videos so you're just gonna get one once in a while and uh, i'd greatly appreciate it so if you're checking out this video i also appreciate you because these should be the same as the 2020 pair. So there's lots of probably unboxings and reviews on these. Now we're just updated a little bit. Ooh, okay, okay. Now I was really curious about the leather quality on these uh, because, man, you get some some of these uh, uh, dunks these days, the GRs, and it is just like, it is just like that particle board, plasticky, like these, a lot of the Dunk High GRs are like these. And even uh, the lows, some of the lows can be this way too. This seems like, I don't know if there's degrees of how, you know, there's probably like costs with the manufacturer. Oh, we have this one that's like slightly better. This is slightly softer. This feels like an actual leather around the toe box there, um, around the mud guard. This top feels a little closer to the plasticky you know, you know, stamp pressed leather particulate, not, yeah, not quite as bad. And then it has that like vinyl finish on the, fr on the top. These are definitely softer. So, um, SP special projects, I think they do them a little better than your average pair of Panda Dunks, but I was very curious what the leather quality on these would be. Would it be slightly better? It does seem like these are slightly, uh, slightly better so i recently got the reverse brazil dunks and those were not uh as good a quality actually um they were not as good a quality in fact you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna just for you people i'm gonna actually do an edit i'm gonna do an edit find them uh here pause all right we got the source of truth here here's the reverse ones interesting they call them be true to your school. I guess maybe hints to Oregon, even though that wasn't part of the original be true to your school pack. But, uh, and they call it apple green instead of uh, pine green and yellow strike instead of varsity maze. So brighter colors on these reverse ones. These, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. These were also $5. These were also $5 cheaper. These were 110 retail. These are 115. So for for five dollars more, you get an upgrade, a big upgrade in okay, let's a medium upgrade in leather quality. These aren't premium by any any means, but uh, these aren't a special projects. They're just a, a, a GR essentially. These are special projects. For comparison, I also brought out my Argon Dunk Lows, probably my favorite pair of GR Argons, um, GR Dunks, and these. Yeah, pretty similar. These feel a little softer, a little more supple, um, but the Argon uh, Dunks that they retroed were a quick strike, so not an SP, interesting. 130 though, 
These retail for 130. It's so weird the prices. Um, now I do know that like soft does not always mean better, uh, right? Uh, you could have a thick cut of premium leather and maybe it's not that pliable. It hasn't been treated as much and that that is a tell of like how much they worked on, stuff that's gone into it, uh, calf skin, you know. That softness is a, definitely a big factor, pliability and quality, but it's, it is not the end all be all. Any leather experts, which I'm not, could probably tell you there's stiff leather that's more premium or better quality. Um, so I'm not saying that, but that is interesting. Those Argon Dunks, 130. These 115 and the, the leather seems better, um, but I love those Argon Dunks. Check that review out. But this is what I'm talking about. This is just that like stamped leather particulate particle board. It's basically the plywood of leather, glue stains here, uh, different different colors, tones of green, and they say that on the box. So anyways, there you go. There you have it. Price, these are definitely under retail. If you're interested in those, you can find them on wherever i mean if you got to get them off of like stock x with all the fees and stuff added up you might get you know it might start costing you know it's going to cost you more than retail but still not bad uh not bad at all for getting them after the fact maybe you find them on sale somewhere maybe someone gives you a deal these are going for right around uh retail uh again if you get them off one of those sneaker websites they're going to tax you and shipping and fees and stuff to make you know they got to make money uh so they will cost you probably i don't know 50 more than retail uh you might be able to find them at sneaker shops and stuff good ones not ones in the malls but good ones for a better uh price but nothing crazy nothing like i was looking at StockX during that little pause there i was saying 300 no these were in the 400s 500s wild wild i mean i you got to be sick if uh you paid that much for resell for these back uh, a few years ago like i don't want to like you know, pour salt in the wound of anyone who did, because I have made, trust me, I've made some poor sneaker buying decisions, uh, paying, you know, where I got taxed on things that are nowhere near that price. So like, I'm in the same boat as you. So I'm not trying to make you feel bad because I, I've experienced that myself on uh, a number of pairs that I could have got cheaper today. Uh, a little, some scratches, some quality. There's always quality control stuff on this. And I don't get too hung up on that. The first you know, wear out of the gate, I could get that. So I don't get too screwed up on that $100 shoe. You know, it's not nothing, but still, I'm like, I get I get a little bent out of shape on when I'm paying 200 plus and there's like quality control issues. Then I'm like, what the, you know, I'm paying a lot of money. Um, so these are sick. These are, I'm a Green Bay Packers fan and these much more align with the Green Bay colors. These are a little, these reverse ones are a little bright. To me, these are almost more, I don't know. These University of Oregon um, colors, basically. Uh, these much more Brazil Green Bay Packers. So we got the higher quality leather. You got the green outsole here, pine green outsole, white midsole, uh, one pair of laces. I think it's cool that they are retroing some of these older dunks. I find it even better that you can get them. Like people who want them can get them for retail, that some of that's calmed down. Uh, the resale craze, like, I, you know, I resell sneakers, not as a business, but just to buy more sneakers. So part of me, like, that's a bummer, the hunt and like the rush of like winning a lottery ticket, you know, the, you know, doubling your money. But like, I don't, you know, it wasn't a business for me. So um, I'm just happy when I want a shoe, I have a good shot of getting it nowadays. Uh, unless it's like something super hyped, then, you know, I'm like everyone else. They try for them to make money or because they're super hyped, popular, um, you know, so that, but I would say, you know, what, what would you say? What's the percentage nowadays? Like 90% of what you want, you can get. That's pretty good. Back in the, like, I know if you're watching this channel, you probably remember it from a few years ago. It's not that it's recent memory. Like you could not get a single, any, they could put out brown and purple GR dunks. Uh, some ugly color combo purple and blue and they would just sell out and go for e immediately 200 it is crazy but it's so sick that um now you can like retro pair of this decent quality you know i mean okay for dunks uh, again better than this uh and you can get them i love it uh it's really cool so now that i have these um 
I'm a little disappointed I have those. They're just sitting there. It's not that I dislike the colorway. I like uh, I like the bright colors. It's just like the quality on those. It's like wearing plastic shoes. These these are better. So it's more of a quality thing. I do like the color blocking on these more and they're retro. So plus two points there, bonus points. It's a, a true retro of an old shoe, uh, 2000 shoe. Um, and the quality is better, but it's not really about the colors so much. And, no, and the color blocking. I do prefer this better. Sometimes, you know, people are just contrarians or they actually do prefer not the OG better um, for whatever the colors or whatever. And I'm, I, I actually do like the, um, the color blocking on these better, the green, predominantly green. They're like, what is that? 50% green, 45% yellow. Um, I do like that better because I'm not one to stray from, you know, just having to like the popular thing. So, uh, you know, if those were better, they would be better in my opinion. And they're just not. All right, I got true to size, and that is the way to go on dunks. If you don't know, uh, if they were SBs, I go half size up sometimes because they're just a little more snug right out the gate. But uh, on regular dunks, non-SB dunks, I go true to size. So it's 11 and a half. I got 11 and a half. They fit great. They look real, real nice uh, on foot. I like these a lot. And you know what's weird is like, Quality makes things last better, um, makes them more comfortable, but like also like I feel like in this case they just look better. Like you can tell from a distance that you can tell from a distance that you are wearing some like Payless shoes, Target quality stuff. I mean these almost look like knockoffs. They're so shiny and plasticky. Doesn't even look like leather. And that's fine not being leather, just it, like it's mimicking it. And that's the problem, right? Um, maybe once these are worn in more, they'll look a little better. I don't know. Just, I regret this decision now. Uh, different types of uh, liner, ankle liner, if you see. I do prefer this kind of liner a little better than this is kind of, uh, there's actually three, three different liners. Maybe that's why these Argons are 130. Their, their liner is like almost chenille um a real like tight knit soft this is a little wider gap weave and then this is like the really wide weave but almost a little less padding here a little less padding a little more padding the most padding maybe that's why these are 130 there's the the liner ankle liners more went into it so that's interesting three different variations on a dunk ankle liner so be interesting uh, the one thing i will say is on these plasticky dunks the creasing is a little interesting is like on one hand you see it but on the other hand it's not like super nasty uh i wonder on these if the creasing will just be like one big like predominant crinkle there or two so that is uh i don't get bent out of shape about that but i know some people don't like that like if they crease really ugly and that is the thing with these plasticky joints. In a way, the creasing is not too bad. It does show up, but it's like, it's not a hard lines, like, you know, skin or age wrinkles. It's, uh, it's just this wave kind of happens. So we'll see with these. Need to wear, you know, wear them out. See how they feel. Uh, also the, this is more of like a canvas instead of a nylon. Uh, tongue. I don't know if you can see that. Slightly different than like let's say this which is like a dunk. I mean like a Jordan soft parachute like type liner. Same with again you got like three different versions here. You got like the the Jordan soft and the dunk soft. Here's kind of an in-between and then here's like a like a canvas a non- it's almost, you know, uh, more fibrous, non-synthetic, not nylon almost. I don't know. Probably is nylon, but it like feels different. Whereas this is kind of, this is similar to this. This tongue is similar to that one. So there you go. All you ever wanted to know about these. I really appreciate if you're watching this video because it's late. Uh, these dropped now at, at this point, like a month and a half ago or redropped. 
and then you have the one pairs from 2020 so i really do appreciate you watching i give these close to an eight probably 7.75 7.8 give these 7.8 they're retro good quality look great i like the colors both brazil and packers and old school bucks colors milwaukee bucks colors so I really dig them uh yeah great you know when the, when dunks are inevitably going to come back into style when all these kids who grew up with the dunk craze, you know, all the all the teenagers who lived through 20, uh, 2019 through 2022, you know, where all this crap, all the dunks were super hot. Once they get to, you know, uh, it'll cycle back, you know, 10 years from now when they're in their jobs and they have a little uh, expendable cash, no kids, uh, dunks will be nostalgic for them and... These will come back around in popularity, maybe in price a little bit. So many pairs out there, maybe, you know, there'll be a little bump, but I don't think these, I think the days of these going to 500 are over. <laughs> Even when they come back around uh, 10 years from now, uh, I don't think they're going to hit quite that price. Maybe an early 2000s pair, maybe for collectors, but not, not these. So either way, dope shoe, 7.8 out of 10. Uh, let me know what you think about these uh did you cop them this time around this like they also did what the kentucky dunk lows i tried for those wasn't able to get those when they redropped what in 2023 i wanted those missed out on those i think they're gonna redrop the st john's lows coming up and i might try to go for those because i'm a big red and white fan uh my school my college that was their colors too so i might try to go for those and now knowing that the leather quality is better and it's not this or at least I hope it won't be this. Um, I'll definitely go for them. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace.